we will explore a menu on the original TI-84 part of the calculator, the math menu. The math menu gives us choices of tasks to do. For example, we can convert a decimal to a fraction or a fraction answer to a decimal, or we can find a root for a number when you need a root that isn't a square root. There are three things I need to show you in preparation for using the math menu. First, find the cluster of navigation keys on the right side of the TI-84 keyboard. We have not used this set of navigation keys before. They are similar to the navigation key cluster on the right side of the Orion unit. That is, they are a set of keys used to move up, down, left, and right. But there is no home key in the center. Instead of a home key to select an item from a TI-84 menu, we'll use the Enter key on the bottom of the keyboard. Second, let me show you how to quit a menu on the TI-84. On the Orion unit, we use dot .4 to, well, dot .4 in the Braille cell to both enter and exit the Preferences menu. On the TI-84, we're going to use the Quit key. So where is the Quit key? Find the second function key and press it because the Quit key is a second function. Second time. Now move your finger just one key to the right of the second function key. This is the quit key. Press it and you'll hear quit. quit. So to quit a TI-84 menu, press the second function key second and then the key to quit. the right of it. And third, since we are going to use the math menu to change a decimal to a fraction, you're going to need a decimal number on your calculator. Press clear just to make sure you are starting with a clear screen. Then just type in the number 3.75. Okay, we are now ready to start. Where is the math menu? Once again, go to the column of keys on the far left of the keyboard. The second function key is at the top of this column. Think of it as key one, move down, skip right over key two, and press key three. The math menu is the third key in the left column. When you pressed the math menu key, you heard math, math, one, show as fraction. Here is what that message meant. The first math confirms that you opened the math menu screen. The second math exists because four different menus can be accessed on this screen. Only the first of those four is actually named math menu. So the second math you heard means the screen opened up on the actual math menu, and that's the one that we want. The one means you're on item number one in the math menu. Do you remember that we turned on menu item number announcements when we were in preferences? Well, you are in a menu, and the calculator just announced number one, the item number of the first item in the list. And then finally, it said, show as fraction. And this means that item number one in the menu is show a decimal value as a fraction. So let's see how to show a decimal value as a fraction. Earlier you entered 3.75 on your calculator. Let's use this item one to turn the decimal number 3.75 into a fraction. The voice just announced that we are on the menu item, show as fraction. You can select it either by pressing enter when you hear show as fraction, or by pressing number key one, since show as fraction is item one in the menu. Either way, you will be asked, answer show as fraction 
In other words, do you want that last answer on the calculator to be turned into fraction? You do, so you will press enter and you will hear that decimal expressed as a fraction. Here's how it works. I'm going to press 1 to select show as fraction. And the calculator asks me if I really want to show my decimal as a fraction, and I press enter to show that I do. Now, I heard 15 divided by 4. Does that sound like a fraction to you? You may be thinking that it sounds like a division problem, not a fraction. Well, fraction notation, a numerator and a denominator, does mean division. Every fraction means this numerator divided by that denominator. What shows on the screen is a 15 followed by a fraction bar and then a 4. It looks like a fraction, although when it is read aloud, 15 divided by 4 does not especially sound like a fraction. However, it is the fraction 15 fourths. The decimal 3.75 is equivalent to the fraction 15 fourths. Now that was a lot of talking for a simple task. Let's change another decimal answer to a fraction to show that it really is faster than it seemed in that example. Put this problem on your calculator. 4 divided by 7. 4 divided by 7. All right, press Enter. You hear 0.571428. 5714. Let's change that answer to a fraction. Press the math menu key. Remember, it's the third one down on the left column. Math, math, one plus fraction. You do want to show that answer as a fraction, so press either 1 or enter to select that choice. Answer to us, fraction. Again, they ask if you really want to show that answer as a fraction, and you do, so press enter. 4 divided by 7. And there you are back at 4 divided by 7. Well, that seems a little funny, but remember, 4 with a fraction bar over a 7 is the fraction 4 sevenths. And that is the fraction you get when you divide 4 by 7. Item number two in the math menu is show as decimal. I don't think you will need this often, since as far as I know, your calculator answers are nearly always going to be given as decimals. But right now, since we have turned a decimal into the fraction four sevenths on the calculator as the answer, let's see how you can turn that fraction into a decimal. Press the math menu key again. Remember, it's the third one down in the left column. Math, one, fraction. And again, you hear math, math, one, show as fraction. We don't want choice one, show as fraction, because four divided by seven, or four sevenths, already is a fraction. We want to turn it into a decimal. Use the TI-84 navigation keys to move down through the menu. In other words, press that the bottom part of that center key in the navigation cluster for down. You only have to arrow down once because choice two is show as decimal. You can press either number two or enter to select number two, show as decimal. Again, you hear that really long decimal point, 5714285714, which is what you get when you turn the fraction four sevenths into a decimal. Our final activity in the math menu is going to be finding roots of a number when we don't just want a square root. Suppose you need something like the seventh root of 128. Let's press clear to start with a clear screen. 
What do you enter first to find the seventh root of 128? Let's think for a moment about how it appears in Braille. When you read seventh root of 128, the seven comes before the AR, which is the radical symbol, and then you come to the 128. We'll use the same order when entering these symbols on the calculator. So first, you're not even in math menu. You just press seven, seven. for seventh root of something. Now, press the math menu key. It is the third one down in the left column. Math, math, one choice fraction. As always, the math menu opens at item one, show as fraction. We don't want show as fraction. Instead, we are looking for an item called xth root. Xth root lets us find any root of a number. Once you're in the math menu, you can use the down arrow and the TI-84 navigation keys to move down the menu till you hear 5x root, then press enter. Or once you learn that x root is item number 5 in the math menu, you can just press 5 as soon as you open the math menu. Five. X root. You don't even need to press enter to select it if you use 5 rather than arrowing down. This is why I like to hear the numbers of items in a menu. Now, whether you arrowed down and pressed enter, or whether you pushed the number key for five, you should hear x root. Now, remember, you've already started with seven on the calculator. Now that you have selected x root, the calculator knows you want seventh root of something. What is written on your screen is 7 followed by a radical symbol, and it's time for you to enter 128. So let's do that. 1, 2, 8. Now press Enter to tell the calculator that you want the seventh root of 128. You heard 2. That's the answer. 2 is the seventh root of 128. If you multiply seven twos, you get 128. There are a number of other items in the math menu with names like numerical derivative open paren and log base open paren. There are also three other menus called number operations, complex operations, and probability operations. And you access all of these by using the left and right arrows when the calculator first opens the math menu. I will not be introducing these items or these menus in this set of videos. If you need to use these more advanced functions, consult with your math teacher.